This module provides guidance on what changes may impact the GTIN allocation of a product. The EU medical device regulations state that a new UDI-DI shall be required whenever there is a change that could lead to misidentification of the device and or ambiguity in its traceability. It references several data elements that when changed require a new UDI-DI. GS1 standards includes rules on what changes require a new GTIN. The healthcare GTIN allocation rules represent a minimum requirement. Please be required that there may be regulations in your market area that are more stringent and shall be adhered to. Let's start with the first step of assigning a GTIN to a new product and consider this. The legal manufacturer labeler or brand owner determines how to allocate GTINs. Contract manufacturers obtain GTINs from their customers. Unique trade items must have unique GTINs. Different counts of the same product must have unique GTINs. You can never reassign any GTINs once they've been published. Now let's consider several different product changes and the impact on the GTIN allocation. Following guiding principles should be considered by the brand owner when changing a product. Our stakeholders expected to, to distinguish the changed or new product from previous current products. Is there a regulatory or liability requirement to disclose a change to the consumer and or trading partner? Is there a substantial change impacting the supply chain, e.g. how this trade item is shipped, stored or handled in the clinical setting? At least one of these guiding principles must apply for a GTIN change to be required. When an existing product is introduced to new markets in general, a new GTIN is not required. We do, however, need to consider local regulatory requirements and languages. When adding a language to a multilingual pack, a new GTIN is not required. The language rules cover the language printed on the package itself, as well as manuals or inserts uh, that are considered part of the trade item. When a language is removed from a multilingual pack, a new GTIN is required if the change impacts where the product can be sold. Change that affects the legally required declaration information on the packaging of a product only requires the assignment of a new GTIN if the brand owner expects the customer or supply chain partner to distinguish the difference between the products prior and after the change. Net content is defined as the amount of the consumable product of the trade item contained in the package as declared on the label, which may include net weight, volume, count, units. Any change, increase or decrease, the legally required declared net content that is printed on the pack requires a new GTIN. The level at which the net content change occurs requires a new GTIN and all higher levels of the packaging hierarchy impacted shall have a new GTIN assigned. Information systems need to distinguish between old and new healthcare items where there is a declared change in net content. Failure to distinguish old and new could lead to medical error and or inaccurate unit pricing. A change of over 20% of physical dimension on any axis, e.g. Height, height, width, depth, or gross weight, requires assignment of a new GTIN at this packaging level and all higher levels of packaging and hierarchy impacted 
shall have a new duty and assigned. Cumulative changes in avoidance of the 20% threshold without changing the GTIN is an unacceptable practice. Trading partners should be notified about all dimensional changes. Cumulative changes might cause problems for trading partners and may obstruct the flow through of products. Within the healthcare sector, there are many examples of certification marks. A certification mark is a symbol, logo, or wording on a product that declares confirmation to a regulated set of criteria, e.g. European CE mark, UK CA mark. When a product is changed to include a certification mark, which was not previously shown on the packaging or product itself, a new GTIN should be allocated for markets where the certification mark is of relevance. It is a key principle of GTIN allocation that the GTIN uniquely identifies a product and its packaging configuration. A change to packaging to remove an existing certification mark that has significance to regulatory bodies, trading partners, or to the end consumer requires assignment of a new GTIN. However, it should also be noted that when a certification mark is added to enable sales in a new market, and it has no impact on markets where the product was previously sold, there is no need to allocate a new GTIN in the scenario above. Brand owners are responsible for internal control of their inventory and any return systems. It is important that such systems, as well as phase in and phase out logistics management, can distinguish between old and new product. When this can be effectively achieved, for example, using the batch number or product variant, there is no need to allocate a new GTIN in this scenario if the external supply chain is unaffected. Primary brand is the brand most recognized by the care provider or patient as determined by the brand owner and can be expressed as a logo and or words, registration mark or trademark. A change to the primary brand that appears on the trade item requires assignment of a new GTIN and at all higher levels of the packaging hierarchy impacted shall have a new GTIN assigned. For products where an agreement exists between the brand owner and the party identified on the label of the distributor, the brand owner remains responsible for GTIN assignment and therefore no new GTIN is necessary when a distribution by party identification is added to the label. The distributed by party identification must not include any registration marks or trademarks and must be made in plain text only. The GS1 standards include guidance on the healthcare GTIN allocation rules, and these should be consulted whenever, whenever something about the product or label or packaging changes. <laughs> 